Well, now to the decision by the Education Secretary, Michael Gove, to block plans by two Kent Grammar Schools to open a new annex in Sevenoaks. Our political correspondent, Michael Crick, is in Westminster. Michael, why did the Education Secretary decide to do this? Well, it's complicated. As you probably know, Kent is one of the few local councils in the country where they've still got grammar schools. Yet, remarkably, uh, there isn't a grammar school in one of the county's largest towns, uh, Sevenoaks. Now, so what Kent did is come up with a wheeze. Uh, the problem being that the last Labour government banned the building of any new grammar schools. So they came up with this wheeze whereby they'd build an annex in Sevenoaks to one of their existing grammar schools elsewhere, either in Tonbridge or in Maidstone. Well, today, uh, Michael Gove's lawyers have basically told him this isn't on. It would clearly be in breach of the law, partly because the new annex it was proposed would be boys and girls, whereas the, the existing school, it was an annex two, uh, was girls uh, only. So it's very disappointing to those who've been campaigning for a new grammar school or new grammar school provision in Sevenoaks. The government needs to change the law. It is ridiculous that it's this hard to get a school that parents desperately want. Under this government, you seem to be allowed to have any school you want apart from the one you really want, which is a grammar school. Well, I've been talking tonight to Paul Carter, the Conservative leader of uh, Kent County Council. He's less downhearted, having met uh, Michael Gove yesterday for a long meeting, and he was left with the impression that if they go away and quickly revamp these proposals and come back, it might be possible to build these new annexes, this new uh, grammar school place provision in Sevenoaks without breaching uh, Labour's law. But overall, uh, this tonight does leave uh, Conservative policy both traditional in terms of grammar schools and modern policy in terms of free schools in some difficulty.